So I've been doing research on migration and environment for about six years uh, since I started my PhD and I've come across the problem of data. Uh, it's hard to find good migration data, uh, to find reliable and um, data that is of sufficient detail to actually study the kind of movements I want to study. So because of that I've started looking into satellite images as a way to look at not migration specifically but signs of migration. And one example of that is to look at land use uh, and land abandonment. So if, if you're a farmer and you migrate from the area where you live, you are likely to not no longer use your fields or harvest your fields. And you can see that using satellite images. So that can be one way of studying movements of people by looking at how they are using their land or not using their land. So in my current research, I'm looking at land use and land abandonment um, by studying satellite images and um, looking at the season of satellite images. So I look at about two images from each month and how the greenness of the Earth's surface changes throughout the months. So for example, if you look at Sweden, you have, you have a rather green time in the spring and then it may be if it's a field that is harvested uh, in early or in late spring you would have a decrease in greenness and then maybe it gets a bit more green throughout the summer because there are weeds coming in or, or you're cultivating something else so by looking at those changes over a year you can decide where you have active cropland and inactive cropland and that's one way to look at uh, human activity. If, if there is cropland that is being active, actively cultivated, you probably have people there. Um, if it's cropland that used to be cultivated before, but not anymore. And if you can combine that with other data and look at what has happened in this area, um, you can start getting some ideas about what's happened to people if they are still there. So another interesting development um, within satellite images is the use of nighttime lights, which is also an indicator of human activity. Uh, where you can see areas that are lit up is where people are living. And if you look at changes throughout years, you can probably see where people are moving towards and where they are areas that they are leaving. Uh, so that's another really interesting field that I'm, I'm curious to learn more about. I believe that uh, satellite images could be used much more in migration research and especially for areas that are hard to access that could be dangerous conflict areas and also areas where you can't really trust the data or where there isn't sufficient uh, census data or migration data available um, but it shouldn't be used on its own it needs to be used together with other information so that you can get a, a, a more reliable um, source of information